So I recently got my hands on the new Freewell Animal Thick and Wide Angle Lens and the ND filters, thanks to Freewell sending me out the kit. So in this video, what I want to do is see how they perform and see what the footage looks like. So let's get to it. You know, I think Customs might have opened this because I was just, um, I was just taking the tape off and it's already kind of open, so yeah, maybe. So I'm going to start with a wide angle lens because in a previous video of mine I mentioned that I wouldn't be using the wide angle lens with my Pocket 2 because I really like to use ND filters. So Freewell have come up with an awesome solution to this where they allow you to clip on variable, no sorry, individual ND filters to the wide angle lens and the anamorphic lens. And in the kit you get four ND filters which are ND8, ND16, ND32 and ND64. Um, they're quite small, so they are a little bit fiddly to put on and take off, but because they're so small and low profile, it does mean that it's not adding um, like extra strain to the gimbal, which is really good. So the Freewell Wide Angle Lens is the same field of view as the one that comes with the Pocket 2, it's 15mm. Um, I genuinely can't see a difference in quality between the two. They pretty much look identical to me. The only difference, as I mentioned, the biggest advantage is the fact that with the Freewell wide angle lens, I can use the ND filters. So I doubt that I will ever use the Pocket 2, the one that came with the Pocket 2. I'll just use the Freewell one from now on. So the other lens that I mentioned was that Freewell has an anamorphic lens and for those that don't know what an anamorphic lens is, basically anamorphic lenses give you a wider field of view and they do this by squeezing the image so that your camera sensor can capture as much footage as possible. Um, the only thing is to make the footage look normal again, you have to de-squeeze the image in post. So Freewell has a de the Freewell anamorphic lens has a de-squeeze factor of 1.15, which means that along the y-axis, so the height of the image, you have to change that to 87%. Now I did try this and I think that 87% makes faces look a little bit squished. So I played around and I changed it to 90% and that seemed to look a little bit better. The other thing to bear in mind is that when you de-squeeze the image, you're going to have these black bars at the top and bottom. I personally like the look of these so that's not an issue for me. So the other thing that anamorphic lenses do is produce a really unique lens flare. So if you've ever seen in a film this horizontal blue line, that means that an anamorphic lens has been used and this is what the Freewell um, anamorphic lens does. So if you have any light sources in your frame like the sun or headlights, street lamps, then you'll notice that you have this horizontal blue lens flare which I think looks really cool. So you might be thinking, okay, cool, why would I want to use an anamorphic lens on a Pocket 2? So I think anamorphic lenses do add a certain cinematic look, and I know that term gets thrown around a lot, and a lot of people do get pissy about the fact that, you know, some people will use slow motion or black bars just to make footage look cinematic. But with an anamorphic lens, you are actually getting that wider field of view, and you're getting that unique lens flare. And I think that as a as a contributing factor to a cinematic look, that is something that contributes to it. <laughs> um, but you know, it, it's not to say that anything that's shot without an anamorphic lens isn't cinematic, it's just another factor that adds to it, I think, as well as composition, lighting, camera movement, um, you know, the script, the story, all those kind of things, they're all contributing factors, and I think that anamorphic lens is just another layer of that to make a cinematic look. So now I want to show you some daytime and nighttime scenes, shot with the anamorphic lens and then shot without the anamorphic lens so then you can see the difference between using it and not using it and you can see which one you prefer.
I personally love the look of the anamorphic lens and I think it's something that I will use on a regular basis, not necessarily for vlogging, but definitely when I'm getting my B-roll sequences, just to differentiate between that talking headpiece and then the actual B-roll itself. So um, yeah, I think it's great. So what do you think? Did you like the look of the anamorphic lens? Do you think it's something that you'd use? Also the wide angle lens with the ND filters, is that something that you'd use? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you found this video useful on some level. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks so much for watching.